the tinned fish I have before me today is the wild yellowtail skinless and boneless fillets and extra virgin olive oil. These are the first wild yellowtail I could find. As you can probably assume, they are wild. Uh, they look pretty good. I'm, I'm going to assume this is more of a meaty fish, but I'm going to avoid assumptions. So as you can look here, they're pretty decent, I would say, on protein. Carbohydrates, yeah, again, that's what we want, the one gram. Let's give it a shot here. It's a meaty can. Let's dig in. Now this looks uh, like a pretty meaty fish, actually. But some of the things we've tried have been a little smaller. And as you can tell, it's in olive oil, um, boneless and skinless. So looks to be a decent amount of fillets in here. So I'm just gonna dig in. You can instantly taste that a, a tuna flavor in here. Just, it tastes like a very, very high end tuna. Look, it, it tastes like tuna. It doesn't smell like tuna. You know, I think probably the smell is covered by the olive oil. You know, it doesn't really taste that salty to me. This would be the the tuna's hotter, younger sister. This is a tasty snack. I will say it's not really out there when it comes to flavor. So if you're someone who's just getting into tin fish, I would say that you would want to go with this. It's not. It's not fishy in any regard, you know, tuna is the chicken of the sea here. I mean, like I said, there's a real tuna flavor here. This is a good fish. This is very good. I would say this would definitely wet your whistle if you were looking to get into tin fish. I would recommend this to anyone who is kind of on the fence about buying fish in cans. In fact, I think it's a little bit dry. Maybe, maybe that has something to do with the natural quality of the fish. But um, if you get these, I would definitely recommend an olive oil because they are a little bit firm tasting. They have a they have a, they have something of a firm texture to it. It is a little bit oily, but um, it, it tastes very whole, pretty uh, filling. I would say if I ate this whole can, and I do plan on doing so, I would say that would be a good lunch or or um, good snack, good solid snack. I'm actually having this for breakfast today. Doesn't sound like everyone's cup of tea, but it is pretty darn good. We say this a lot, but if anyone uh, was at the store and saw this, I would I would highly recommend you pick this up. It, it's a uh, it's a fantastic snack. I mean, if you're at a theme park, you know, not just the convenience of it, but the quality of the taste of the fish is really there. I mean, are you gonna buy some you know sun-kissed tuna? Or this, I would highly recommend this over anything, you know, especially the cheap stuff. When I went to uh, theme parks a lot as a younger child. One of the favored snacks to bring in theme parks, at least my family's favorite snack, was the can of tuna. We would whip open the tuna cans at every sit-down restaurant in every theme park you could probably imagine. People probably hated us. But if I went back now, I think I'm definitely going to pick up this because like I said, it does it has a, a tuna flavor to it, but it's a lot more girthy and a lot more meaty than to any brand really that, you know, you can buy in a store that's like Walmart. This is way up there on the um, flavor scale for sure. So this is Wild Planet's Yellowtail Skinless and boneless fillets and extra virgin olive oil. Leave us a comment if you have any particular requests, anything you're maybe afraid to try uh, that's too out there for you. In the world of tin seafood goods, like, share, and comment your suggestions for future videos. Thank you, and have a good one.